Hi, Krista here, interviewing on chatting and having a conversation with Shona Hagen of AmazinglyHealthyLife.com. So welcome, Shona. Hi. Glad to Good meet you here. again, you properly on screen now. We've met online before, right. we've chatted online, but it's yeah. nice to put a face to the name. So um, we're going to talk about your work online and your fitness and your health and your lifestyle changes and midlife. So would you like to sort of introduce yourself to the listeners and the, the viewers on YouTube and sure, tell us all sure. about you? Yep. Hi, I'm Shona Hagen. Um, I help midlife women break free from maternal dieting and supercharge their energy through my health optimizing program. I'm 54 years young. Yay. I'm a mum. Yay. <laughs> I'm a mum. I'm a certified health and wellness coach. I'm an international be award winning belly dancer, believe it or not, a national award winning teacher and choreographer. Um, and I'm currently a yoga teacher in training. Excellent. Like that. That's brilliant. Quite a lot, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and for those who aren't aware of the accent, where is your accent from? Well, I'm from Scotland. I'm from Scotland, but at West Coast, some sort of Glasgow end, but I actually live in Dorset, UK. So this accent is well smoothed out, actually. <laughs> mixed in with a bit of Dorset. Accent. Yeah, mixed in with, I definitely have a bit of Dorset in there. It's just for those American listeners and things, they'll be like, oh, what's that uh, accent? Yeah, Scottish. So, And what is it that you do now? Obviously, you've, you've touched on it in your introduction about helping midlife women, but why did you come to this sort of job and what led you to pursue your passion and help midlifers? Right, so um, it really started with me, to be honest, um, maybe about eight or nine years ago. So I was a, a full-on professional dancer teacher. Yeah, so I was, I was running classes every single night. Um, I was often teaching workshops at the weekend, performing at the weekend. Uh, yeah, but it was about eight or nine years ago. Um, but I began to become aware I didn't feel quite right. So you can imagine I was very fit, very fit. I mean, I was never out of the dance studio. If I wasn't choreographing for my classes, I was choreographing for my, my own solos. And then I was teaching every just about every night. So I was a very fit person. But I, I started not to feel so great. And what it was is I had acid reflux. Maybe the acid reflux was behind everything else. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. I had this acid reflux. Um, and also uh, I, I was getting a, a little bit down and I'm a very upbeat, happy person. So that really didn't sit well with me. And, and I was living my life. I've, I, I was doing my, my job was my passion. I yeah. loved it. So I had nothing to be depressed about. And my tummy was getting a little bit bloated, which isn't great in a belly dance costume so I was in no <laughs> way overweight it, there was yeah. just a, a bloat there it was bloated so obviously I was having some digestive problems um and a little bit of depression which now nowadays we would probably link them together actually mm -hmm. now that we know more about the gut and stuff like that we probably yeah. that's yeah. probably the reason and so I thought I had quite a healthy diet but I started looking into it and I tried out a few things and um, I came to this um, way of eating, really simple, really healthy, like mega healthy. Um, and it was almost like overnight, overnight it took away my acid reflux. Like um, mm -hmm. I was taking these tablets, PPIs they're called. I don't think they're very good for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I mean, I don't think they've been around enough for, to have evidence, yeah. but I don't think they're very... From what I've heard, they're not very good. And I, I just stopped taking them immediately. And the symptoms uh, just never came back. So as long as mm. I eat, according to this really healthy diet, which is basically a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, it's just all whole food, basically. You know, yeah. I'm not a vegan, but I do eat a high raw vegan diet, but I still eat meat and fish. So that if I was to describe it in a sentence, I'm almost a raw vegan, but I do eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> and, some, and sometimes I cook my vegetables as well you know but yeah. I, I do eat high raw diet like yeah raw whole it's good protein. though that you recognize that even though on paper people would have been oh wow this woman's really fit and healthy because she's doing dance and she's doing all this physical exercise you knew your right. body yourself and tuned in enough to yeah. know that actually even my mental health is affected by your physical health 
which I think in midlife that happens a lot where people start getting a little more in tune with what the body's telling them rather than sort of the younger ones who are you know running on alcohol and stress and all the rest of it I think you start to listen to your body a little bit more don't you I think in midlife definitely so I would have been about 45 at that time Mm -hmm. um so yeah almost like I mean I'm well known for like being a very uh, my style is very energetic or fiery I think people would say (laughs) but I mean since I started doing this change I have even more energy so if that's at all possible yeah that's brilliant so yeah I mean an overnight it was it was overnight and then but that's that's what it fixed that I needed to fix but then uh the benefits I was getting from it were I mean I get really excited about it because they were amazing that's where Mm. it came from the amazingly healthy life because they're Mm. amazing and people kept saying Shona you look amazing what are you doing and you know because it actually makes your your skin glow yeah and your eyes like as white and sparkly and like you know that's that's very sort of um youth giving you mm-hmm. know so you always like um you get your youth back I, I sometimes say I look better now than I did in my 30s well of course I look 20 years older <laughs> but I did not have the, yeah. the the glowing skin and trust me I did not have the glowing skin and the sparkly eyes yeah and it was funny because I did drink I did keep a uh, drinking alcohol I was quite a big wine drinker actually um I only gave that up two and a half years ago that was the last mm-hmm. thing to go yeah but the the wine the alcohol was going down and down and down because obviously you feel good you yeah. eat all this amazing stuff all day this really healthy diet and mm-hmm. then you pour poison down your throat yeah. at night it's not, i think that's it i mean i stopped yeah i stopped drinking a couple of years ago and it when you yeah. say you stop drinking people assume you have a drink problem and it wasn't it was just i, oh, I, I just on a weekend for example if you drank on a friday and i wasn't a big drinker yeah. anyway i was in my youth but not when I gave up and it was because teenagers drink don't they and in your 20s you're out partying and all the rest of it but I found that it wasn't as much the drink as my skin and my hair and everything it wasn't the hangover or anything like that I just felt that my whole weekend which I was working really hard all week and then I would have the weekend and my weekend I just felt rough and my skin felt horrible and my hair felt wrong and yeah. it was that mo- the health sort of impacts of the drink more than anything and I just thought I don't no, miss it you know like I've stopped so I think no. again I think that's something that it's almost a hidden epidemic sometimes the wine drinking especially because I think people if, especially if they're in a stressed job they go home 100%. have the drink of yeah. wine and they don't think of themselves as relying on alcohol but they are using it to wind yeah. down and it is yeah. I mean you do look amazing and I can understand oh, you. you know obviously your your brand is that because it obviously yeah. suits you and it really works well and so yeah that's true I mean I could go on about the alcohol affair I just want to say that um my group uh, op- health optimization the group coaching program it isn't you do not have to give up alcohol I asked mm-hmm. for a reduction in habits but a few of my students actually did decide to use the six weeks on the program to give up alcohol and mm-hmm. of course because I've done it I can support them in that and that was that was one of the most amazing things but I just like to stress you don't have to give up your wine <laughs> you can still have a tip <laughs> you, you can still I mean you know I mean the whole give up alcohol thing you can do it on there but it, it it's not part of the program I would just say like give up like slow it down a bit that's all mm-hmm. if you're on my program yeah moderation isn't it and that yeah, mentioning your program what is it that you do in your program and how can people join in with that right so I mean I do two a programs one is group coaching and the other one's one-to-one that's what I'm offering at the moment I'm kind of looking for something in between those two but at the moment that's what I've got the group coaching basically it's it, it's I have already done this so this doesn't just work for me I have to tell you I am super thrilled about the results I've mm-hmm. had from it so because it, you know when you do something yourself you think oh well that worked for me does it work for somebody else yeah yeah and in a way it's silly to even think that because of course if you if you eat super healthy you're going to look and feel better yeah it's actually not rocket science is it? <laughs> but anyway the ladies on the course they actually love it so they love um actually doing the course because it's fun mm-hmm. and they 
they've been loving how it ends up making them feel. You can see the reviews on my website. They'll, they'll say that they're really surprised. They didn't expect to feel this well. They expect to lose a bit of weight. They expect maybe to reduce their bad habits, but but they didn't expect how well they would feel. Because quite honestly, I think we forget how well we can feel. Mm -hmm. It's almost mm -hmm. like pushing the clock back and feeling like you're not a child, but you know, yeah, like you're a child again. Like yeah. honestly, quite annoying myself sometimes because I feel <laughs> so supercharged. Like I can wake up in the morning and be like, whoa, right, like jumping out of bed. And that's kind of normal. But I mm -hmm. know with a lot of people, it's not normal anymore because no. you kind of get sludged down underneath all the poison. And yeah. even the food you eat, if it's, you know, the processed food is full of poison. Like it just I think that was the thing with lockdown as well. A lot of people at the moment sort of need a bit of a reboot, don't they? Because they're feeling a bit, yeah. not necessarily yeah. overweight, but just a bit pudgy and a bit oh, exactly. been stuck in the house and, you know, sort of settled into routines that they're probably not getting as much exercise. Some have obviously gone yeah. crazy on the gym stuff at home, but a lot have exactly. not. They've sat and yeah. binge watched TV and things like that. So I think yeah. it's the ideal opportunity now as well, isn't it? To do just like a sort of reboot and, yeah. really look at what you're eating and what you're putting into yeah. your body yeah no you're right and you're right christy and the thing is um what you said there about not necessarily needing to lose weight because uh, really i mean i sort of aim my marketing at um people who need to lose weight because even the people that don't need to lose weight they want to lose weight yeah <laughs> it's a woman thing it is, I don't yeah. particularly but when I say lose weight I mean I, I don't mean get super skinny and get a six pack you know, if that's what you want to do like you would have to go to the gym right yeah and, and work towards that and you would have to like lose a lot of fat like to be to, to get that kind of look you're uh, you're looking at losing a lot of fat so I would I'm always just for the health aspect of it so mm -hmm. you know you want to be as um I always say aim for healthy not skinny yeah, yeah definitely yeah but the point of the program is as well uh, even if you you don't have weight to lose it's still really wise to aim for healthy mm -hmm. you know so I've noticed I mean, I on your website go on sorry yeah no no you you carry on now I've noticed on your website as well that you do a lot of homegrown vegetables and things is that something you've always done or is that something that you've come to yeah. because of your healthy eating? Yeah, I haven't always done it. Um, I was doing it from about, yeah, when I started the healthy eating about eight or nine years ago. But then I've been I've been world traveling. I'm only just back in the area. So I live in Dorset in the UK now. I don't live in Scotland anymore. But I was traveling around the world with my husband on a cruise ship and, and I still managed to be healthy. <laughs> well, <laughs> It can be done. The first trip I went on, no, not so good. But then every other time, very good. Yeah. So no and excuses. So, <laughs> no excuses. And yeah, so I'm back at it again this year. But yeah, I've been doing it every year. I love that. And it's uh, the healthiest you can possibly get because the food's alive. Mm -hmm. So you get much, the, the, the more alive your food is, the more of the nutrition you get from it. So it's a really good idea. And also a lot of people say, like, I, can't, I like people to buy organic if they can, because yeah. obviously the, just because there's no poison on it, there's no chemicals on it. Yeah. So if you grow in your, and it, it's a bit more expensive. So people say, oh, it's too expensive. So if you've got a bit of garden, you can grow stuff that's really cheap and it's yeah. organic and it's straight from the ground, does not get any better than that. Well, you know what you put into it or on it, don't you as well? So exactly, exactly. That's fantastic. Which is, so, yeah which is what really advice nice. would you give to people who want a, apart from obviously your program and i will put details of your program in the show notes for everybody and we'll at the end we'll explain how they can get in touch with you about going on your next program but have you any sort of little tips as to obviously the organic food but about sort of the mental side of it about feeling better and giving themselves a bit of a boost have you any little tips that you can yeah. share Definitely. So, I mean, my program is very strongly on food, and and but it's holistic. So there's a there's eight commitments that you deal with. But let me just tell you, if you if you get your food sorted out first, then everything else sort of falls into place. You know, mm -hmm. um. So my tips on food: eat more raw. 
eat more raw food. Eat, your, eat more of your vegetables raw. And it doesn't need to be boring, lettuce, tomato, and cucumber. Mm -hmm. um, so going back to the mental aspect that you were asking me about. So because if you eat better, you, you do actually feel better. Like, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing, but it's not amazing. <laughs> because of course you feel better. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and get rid of as much processed food as you can out of your life as much as you can and then um go for always go for persistence not perfection and so that that'll that'll help you stay the course mm -hmm. so you might be like this and then you might like you might steady off and then you might you know like um what's the word? Pits and yeah yeah like plateau and go up and plateau so you don't need to be perfect and what i do advise my ladies is 85 percent of the time is enough that's enough yeah. to be to get yourself in a super healthy place yeah. so you don't have to be yeah, obsessive it. with it and sort of change your whole <laughs> life it, it will be life changing but you don't uh, have to yeah. sort of go overboard with you know massive like you say three hours in the gym or anything silly like that it can be done oh, that's yeah. do you know what people do too much i used yeah. to do too much as a dance teacher it, you just burn out it's, yeah. it's like almost like I don't know if you've noticed sometimes um, with gym teachers and they're like, they look very tired. Mm. Like they, it seems to age them. Yeah. And that's not really what you want. You know? no. And you I want think to, it's just like you say, you really, want to be healthy. really tired. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And also um, take seriously your sleep um, mm -hmm. for your physical and mental health. Yeah. Because you, we all know how bad you feel after one bad night's sleep. So if you're I think not, sleep you're not is very sleep. underrated, isn't it, as a it's sort most of fitness thing. tool, if you like. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's the most underrated thing. Lacking in sleep makes you put weight on for, for numerous reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and, and stress as well. So this is one of the hardest things in the course. It's not to get them to quick process food or eat more raw, which I thought it would be, but they actually love it. I mean, they actually <laughs> love it. Yeah. And, to, and to keep and to stick at something you've got to actually love it mm -hmm. uh, but the, the hardest thing uh, I'm finding is to get them to meditate yeah like just 10 minutes just take 10 minutes of your day to mm. do a meditation that makes all the difference you know just taking 10 minutes for yourself do you do your that meditation really in the morning or in the evening I, t I always do meditation first thing in the morning and then I might do another one like after my yoga practice. Yeah. I think and meditation like, no is something. What happens. Yeah, I think it's something that you've got to get in the mindset for and take a shift. And I think a lot of people, I'm not brilliant at it myself, but I'm getting better yeah. because I've put my mind to doing it. But I think a lot of people are not very happy in their own head. They're a bit scared yeah. of yeah. what I did, what will come into my head when I'm yeah meditating you know what will be there so i think it is something that you need to learn how to do i don't think you can just say right from tomorrow i'm i meditate every day i think you've got to yeah. get into that as a routine and build it up but i do think it's yeah. very very valuable to spend just I, I i sometimes call it like just take a breath just sit down yeah even if it's just sat in a corner with a cup of tea and not doing anything oh, and put your phone yeah. away, it, you might not yeah. call it meditation. Because I think the word sometimes frightens people, doesn't it? Because they imagine does, sort yeah. of a Buddha, you know, sat in the corner, you know, and all the rest with arm and, and you can do it that way, yeah. but it yeah, doesn't have to be that way. It can be yeah. a lot less intimidating no, right. for a beginner anyway. Yeah. yeah, well, you're right, you're right. And so uh, I'll do the arm bit after yoga. And I, I kind of enjoy that. It makes me smile. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't know. I never thought I was a very om type of person, but I guess I am really. <laughs> I want one but of those um, bowls. You know that you do the yeah. meditation. I'd love one of those. My husband got me one of them. My yeah, they're me brilliant. One. I never use that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once I become a trained, a qualified yoga teacher, I might well use that. But at yeah. the moment, you can't use it while you're meditating for yourself. No, but I know. You what, I was thinking, how do you do it when you're doing it yourself? Well, <laughs> but you, you can't. You can, can you? Can you? <laughs> No. but i tell you what i do uh, every morning is i don't sit up or do any of the things you're supposed to do i basically wake up i turn over i put on my daily cam and mm -hmm. i do that 10 minutes it's a different one every day you don't need to think about it just press play i slide in my bed instead of snoozing or 
turning over, I just lie and listen to that. And that's how I do it first thing as soon as I go. So is that interested? something you include in your program? And it's something I ask them to do in my program. I also include, I, I have got my, like they might not have a CAM app or whatever, so I have actually got a meditation, a 10 minute meditation practice in there that I've uh, put in there for them. So, yeah, so I that think that'd be really useful. useful for them. That'd be really good value. But it's probably the most resistance. That's where I get the most resistance. It's funny because the more you need it, the meditation, the more you resist it. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Really How that. people are yeah, so resistant to it. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed, I've noticed the times when I, if I'm I'm getting anxiety, uh, that's yeah. the time when I don't want to do it. This is crazy. Odd, isn't it? So, and tell me about the belly dancing. I want to hear all about the belly dancing as well. <laughs> well, the belly dancing is an old. It's what I used to do before I, I tra before I went travelling. Um. So I, yeah, that was a very busy, very busy girl there. It was a full time thing. So I I taught weekly classes four nights a week. I did weekend workshops. I performed at the weekends. I also I run and still run a belly dance holiday every year at the weekend. Okay. This last year would have been my tenth year wow. if it hadn't been cancelled due to COVID nineteen. What got you but into that in it. the first place? Uh, do you know what? I think it was, it, it was. I don't even know how many years. It was 25, 30 years ago. It was a, a documentary on the television. Really, and wow. I went. I'm going to do that. But I was very much a very dancey type of person. And I was teaching at the time, um, also qualified aerobics teacher. I was teaching aerobics, but they were very dancey aerobics. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of girl I am. So then I, I gave up I gave up my work and just went to learn belly dance. And then I, I went to um, study to be a, te a belly dance teacher. And yeah. then I, Are you I on just... TikTok? You need to get on TikTok. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go on TikTok. <laughs> It'd be great. There's a lot of businesses on TikTok now. It's very big business. I know. It's just another thing that you've got to do. I will probably eventually do it. But you know what? Um, do I, if I did full time dance and full time health coaching and yoga, I would. That would be too much. No. The, so well, the, the whole like point you is you don't up. want to burn out, do you? No, I mean, I, people think you just turn up and teach a class, but you have to actually plan it and you mm -hmm. have to choreograph. It. And if you're going to be out there, you have to be fit enough to do your solos. It's a whole thing. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Lifestyle. So, yeah, I'm, go I'm going back to one. I'm actually teaching dance on Zoom at the moment. And I'm going to go back and teach one class a week for my local girls and also running my holiday. And But that's all I'm doing. That's, what, that's, that's, that's my line on that at the moment. So... That's good, though, that you're living your life as you choose to, doing what you love to do yeah. and helping other people do it as well. I do love it. I do love it. And the thing is, because it, it enhanced my life so much, I would say, I mean, I, would, I don't maybe it saved my life. I don't know, but it certainly saved my quality of life. Mm -hmm. So when that's happened to you, it's almost like you're an obligation to yeah. share, to share with other people. And I think it's what lights you up and it's obvious. I mean, obviously some people might be listening to this and not watching you, but it's obvious that you're really passionate about it and you, you are yeah. your brand, you are healthy. You obviously really yeah. enjoying what you do. And I think that's so important yeah. for people to see that, you know, yeah, you were in a, a situation that you weren't feeling hundred percent, but you could have quite easily stuck with that lifestyle and just thought, Oh, it's just Most me getting, you know, I hear a lot of people, Oh, well, what do I expect at my age? Or, you know, well, that's, that's I always right. remember, I know, well, I was 30 when I first remember the doctor saying to me, what do you expect at your age? And I was horrified because oh. I was 30. Oh, <laughs> and 30 I think, years old. Yes. And he said, what do you expect at your age? And I've never forgotten that because I thought, what? <laughs> what That's ridiculous. And exactly. And my whole brand is built on midlife isn't a crisis. You know, it's, we're not past it. We're still oh, perfectly no. capable of starting new things, doing, going in a new direction. And if, if yeah. you know that something's not quite right, which you did, you recognised there was yeah. something not quite right, instead of just sitting back and thinking, oh, oh well, it's my age, you know, it, I'll yeah. put up with it. There's not a lot I can do. You went out, yeah. researched opportunities and different things and found what suited you. And that's, to me, that's the whole philosophy of what I'm all about as well, that yeah, it's never absolutely. too late, you know, and if you feel oh, it's that something's late. not quite right, do something, yeah. you know, go out and yeah. research and find 
what you need to light you up and yeah you know, it, whether that be I'm writing a book or a new business or belly dancing yeah. or whatever it is yeah. you know go out yeah. and find it and eat well eat healthy that's true well, I mean, if you've got a solid base, like if you've got this solid body and mind, there's nothing stopping you from doing anything at all. Nothing mm -hmm. stopping you whatsoever. Yeah. Really. The thing is as well, because I always say I'm a, I'm a health and, I am a health and wellness coach. It's not what I do, it's what I am. Because mm -hmm. I actually, I, I only recently did the certification to teach me coaching methods. Mm -hmm. you know all the stuff all the content all the the health and that came from my life like yeah. what I did I didn't learn that on the the health coach and what mm -hmm. I learned is how to coach people so you don't just preach it to people you know yeah. so that you, you I think that's it if you them. yeah if you're authentic and you've been through something and you know it works you do you yeah. are sort of an evangelist for it almost aren't you that you really want to go out and help other people and yeah. tell other people how good it is I know it's very difficult with your friends because you're like <laughs> <laughs> to bite your lip. <laughs> Come and help. I can help you, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's very difficult. Uh, People need to well, want to do it though, that's the thing. Exactly. So well, that's been a, a brilliant conversation. Um, I've got some quick fire questions for you if you okay. if you're ready. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Right. Are you an early bird or a night owl? early bird is that Thank because you. you've always got up early or are you energetic at night because obviously you went on the boat and traveled and things are you a natural yeah. early bird or is that just a routine i'm a natural early bird I'm yeah. a natural early bird and i and i uh encourage that in myself so um I, I, I go to bed at 10 i got up at six um like a and like clockwork i don't wake up in the night i sleep all night it's brilliant i love it and Fantastic. so when it comes to night time i i I, I go out my way, I make a sleep routine or an evening routine to make myself more and more tired as the yeah. night goes on. I so think that's a, a really good careful. thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, be very um, careful not to work too late and stuff yeah. like that. Favourite app? Yeah. Favourite app is a, the Calm app. The Calm we'll app. put a link to this. You'll have it's to give the me the link and I'll put a link to it in the notes. Favourite book? Okay. My favourite book is Witches Abroad by Terry Pratchett. Just never stop. I, I never stop laughing at it. It's brilliant. Witches Abroad. Witches Abroad. It's so funny. One of your ambitions that you might not have achieved yet, big or small, what have you got on your list of so, ambitions? Yeah, I, what I really want to do now is uh, just get a thriving health coaching business that I can help as many people I want to stick to it. I don't want a big, enormous business. Like, I want the, me to be in control of it so that I'm always yeah. the coach. That's what I'm after. Like one so, one. like, a very personal coaching yeah. business. Yeah. What would you say to someone who uses their age as an excuse not to do something? So, I actually wrote a blog about this uh, years ago, a year ago or something. And what I said was, whatever age you are there now, so if you're 50 just now, right? And you think, oh my God, I'm too old. What about when, imagine when you're 70 and you look back at your 50 year old self and you're going to go, I was <laughs> so young and beautiful. What was I thinking? Yeah. Right? So, so good. So that's, that's what I would say yeah. to them. Yeah. That's because brilliant. I'll tell you something. I used to think I was too old at 22. Yeah. I remember thinking I'm old at 22. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So now I just think ridiculous. And it also on, ages to... Yeah, there was somebody on Twitter who was saying, um, is it too late? Blah de blah de blah. I'm 24. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I put him right, so it was fine. <laughs> so, um, you'll have to let me have the link to the blog and I'll put the blog post link as well for people so they can go and check that out. That'd be great. Absolutely. And then can um, I just get mentioned... one more thing in? Yeah. Can I get one more thing? I want to see it on my group co my group coaching program. It's not mm -hmm. just a course. It's uh, it's a, like a coaching program. So we meet every single night on Zoom. So every night you get coaching from me. Fantastic. So it's a really uh, it's really it's quite special and it's not a bit not too expensive. So it brings uh, the health coaching to people where otherwise they probably maybe couldn't afford it. 
cool. Fantastic. And we'll put all the links. <laughs> I'll put everything in the show notes for everybody. So they'll all be able to find you. Your website mm-hmm. is amazinglyhealthylife.com. Great. And where else can people find you online? So at the moment, I'm on Facebook at Amazingly Healthy Life. And also, as my name is Shona Hagen, so my, my personal one's more about dance and the, the Amazingly Healthy Life, obviously about the health coaching. And um, also on Instagram uh, at Amazingly Healthy Life. And if anybody's interested in your coaching, either one-to-one or your programme, they can get in touch through yeah. your website, through Instagram or Facebook. Are you happy with that? Or can they yeah, send you a absolutely. DM or do you prefer them to go through the website? The DM's fine, or you can send me an email, Shona at amazinglyhealthylife.com. Fantastic. Well. DM me. Yeah, anything. Brilliant. And I would recommend your program because you're obviously blooming on it. You look amazing. So thank, thank you, you so much for joining me. That's been a really good conversation. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hello again. Christy Adams here, writer and coach. And I just want to say thank you to everybody involved in this show especially you because this is why I'm bringing it to you to bring you value and to encourage you and motivate you because I know what it's like if there's so much pressure on we're constantly being pushed over that hill and told that we're too old and we're definitely not if you'd like the links or the show notes they're over on my website which is christyadamswriter.com So if you jump over there, you'll find some other free resources, my books, details of my coaching, because you can have one-to-one chats with me or join a coaching program with me. One thing that I would really like is if you could share this podcast with someone, that would be amazing. Someone that you feel will get value from it and will join the community. So you share it with them and don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss any of the episodes. And if you're feeling really generous, a review on whichever system you've downloaded it from, whether it's iTunes or Spotify, a review would be fantastic because that brings me even more listeners. So thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, midlife isn't a crisis. It's our time to shine. So go out there, do something amazing this week, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.